This is part two to the Omega Shepherd. I ran out of time in part one. Hopefully, uh, you got all the details. I basically just used my chopper to clear this off. Now I've got to get rid of this. So to get rid of that, we're going to use escorts. And you know, we're going to try something. I don't normally do it this way. I'm going to try to send him to here. Usually he's dead. And usually we kill him with the thing. We're going to try it. So let's see what happens. Basically we're going to see if we can get him to go right there. If he can kill him, that's wonderful. If he doesn't, then I use my chopper or I use escorts. Our goal is to get rid of him because he and the silo, well, we're going to miss him. Well, yeah, we missed him. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We didn't get him anyways. All right, get back there. Get back where you were. We're going to use these escorts to get rid of the silo because they will take out your escorts. All right, now we're going to use the same thing. You have two options. You can use escorts to take him out. We're going to try to do it with, okay, we're going to clear this out with escorts first. Then we're going to take him out with the chopper. You can always use escorts. They're the wonder tools. They kill. And they don't take much damage. Usually when I do these bases, I get zero damage, which means I get less than five minutes damage on my escorts so I can repair them instantly. And the only reason I'm taking these things out is because when I send in my chopper, my chopper will be distracted by that and try to kill it. There's only one thing I want that chopper to kill. I want it to kill the seeker. Because then I'm going to use my escorts, and he's going to send this tank over here and clear out that tower. Once that tower's gone, aces will clear the base. But right now I'm just, just killing what will kill my escorts or my aces. So now we just got to get in position where he goes after him. You got to be careful because sometimes he runs. All right, there, he's there. Shoot him, shoot him. Oh, you're a pain in the butt. Go get him, go get him. Okay, why well, you're just, he sees just too far away. Got to get us to here closer. Okay, that's it. You don't want to kill that tank. Because you can use that tank to take out the tower. Once the tower's down, you're done. Aces clear, and you're ready to go. All right. So, escorts. One's enough. You don't want to kill it. If you send all those escorts to shoot the tank, it'll kill the tank before he does work. You just want that tank to go through and kill all the stuff for you. Make it easy on yourself. So just line him up so that when that tank goes through, he takes out the tower right there. It's good. Go over there and kill that tower. Once that tower goes down, we're done. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. That tower will kill our aces. Okay, nothing there. Okay, everything's gone. Now we bring in the aces. Base is done.
that's it. What did we get? One. One. All that work for one. Kicks eye. It kicks is a pain in the butt. But what are you going to do? Nothing you can do. All right. So we take these guys back and repair them. I'll show you. We didn't get a whole lot of damage. And we got to find it. Okay, there's one right there. I'll come back and do that one. All right, it's just that simple. Hopefully, with these two of these, hopefully when I, tra I, when I transition from part one to part two, I hope I got everything recorded. I may have missed just a bit. I'll have to check later on. But it's not real tough. That's one way to do it. And as you can see, no damage to my chopper company. But you got to be patient. you got to take your time. And not a lot of damage to the escorts. Well, none. What happened in between one, part one, and part two, I repaired my escorts. But the escorts that were damaged in part one took no time. Everything was less than five minutes, so it was immediate repair. All right, that's it. We're done.